When working with compound inequalities, it's important to remember what and represents or means. In this case, and means both are true. So, if you have two inequalities and you solve them, you have to find where both inequalities are true. First, we'll solve the inequalities and float them above the number line. Then we'll use the overlap in our interval. Subtracting 5 from both sides, we get 6x is less than 6, divide by 6 on both sides, and we get x is less than 1. Bring our and down. Solving the right inequality, we subtract 2 from both sides, and we get negative 7x is less than or equal to 42. Dividing both sides by a negative, means we're going to have to flip our inequality over, and x is greater than or equal to negative 6. Now if we graph that, we get x is less than 1, so we'll call this 1, and it'll be an open dot heading to the left. x is greater than or equal to negative 6 means that somewhere over here at negative 6, we'll have a closed dot heading to the right. Now we have to determine where they overlap. Here and here are where the two ends of their overlap are. So if we graph the overlap, we get a closed dot at negative 6 and an open dot at 1. So the inequalities, the and inequalities, are true between negative 6, including negative 6, and 2, 1, not including 1. So the interval is bracket negative 6, comma, 1, parenthesis. That's the interval where this and compound inequality is true. In example 2, we'll go ahead and solve this one as well adding 10 to both sides, we get 11x is greater than 3x plus 8. Subtract 3x from both sides, and we get 8x is greater than 8. Divide both sides by 8, and we get x is greater than 1. On the other side, we distribute the 2 through in the grouping, and we get 10x minus 6 plus 2 is greater than or equal to 18x minus 52. Combining these together, these like terms, we get 10x minus 4, is greater than or equal to 18x minus 52. Subtract 18x from both sides, and add 8, or sorry, add 4 to both sides, and we get negative 8x is greater than or equal to negative 48. Divide by negative 8 on both sides, and we get x is less than or equal to 
6. Since this is an AND compound inequality, we have to remember that it's where these two overlap. So let's go ahead and graph it. x greater than 1, let's call that here, it's an open dot heading to the right, and x less than or equal to 6, we'll call this 6 here, and it's a closed dot heading to the left. Where they overlap, is right along here. So the graph of the AND statement would be an open dot at 1 and a closed dot at 6 and the interval that is true is a parenthesis 1 comma 6 bracket. So the interval is from 1, not including 1, to 6, including 6.